Hello and welcome back to episode 25 of our Runaway Teen Legacy Challenge. We have a big day today. Fallon is going to prom. Forrest aged up at the end of last episode, so we need to give him a quick little makeover right away and just kind of see what else is happening. Maybe we'll go to school with Forrest and maybe Jeb will do something. I don't know. I don't know what's up with the parents, but we're gonna go to prom. So let's let's get in this episode. All right, so it is a Wednesday night. Tomorrow's Thursday, there's school. Friday's gonna be exam day and Saturday is prom. So we're trying to get to prom, but how's everyone's needs right now? Jeb is out here swinging on some swings. He's having a good time. He's just chilling. Connie needs to go to bed. I'm gonna throw this food away and then send Connie to bed, go to sleep. And then Forrest, we're gonna give him a bit of a makeover. All right, we're not gonna do anything crazy. We're just gonna like change his clothes because these randomized outfits are a choice but i do like the long hair i just don't know if i like this long hair so we're gonna see about doing a different longer hair this where one from werewolves is kind of fun there's honestly not a great amount of long male hairs so maybe like a shorter longer one i kind of like that one but i don't know if i should give him curly hair jeb kind of has like wavy hair but there's no reason for him to have curly hair but i like it i like curly hair i don't know it feels kind of weird on him that one from realm of magic is kind of fun. They also have these new ones from a horse ranch. I don't think I like those. I think I like this from a magic one. I think it gives him just kind of like a fun vibe. Also, so that was his cold weather outfit. This is his normal outfit. A choice. I don't think he's gonna wear glasses unless it's ironically and honestly I kind of oh, like oh. these ones that are like a little bit sunglasses but a little bit like Harry Potter and I think that's kind of fun and I feel like he'd also have like an earring because I think that's a fun a fun time. So I'm gonna give him that key earring because he's gonna be kind of like a musician vibe. Maybe we'll use some of the new kit that we just got what is it called i don't know what it's called but the the this this emo kit maybe we'll give him kind of like this vibe like musician vibe i kind of like this one it's like a band sweater this jacket makes me angry it makes it the stomach's so puffy or oh this one actually looks really nice on him i think i like you know what? i think i like that one we could give him like plaid pajama pant looking pants but i don't really like those we do have all of these pants we got a lot of pants from kits i kind of like these joggers or we could do like a, a ripped jean Look, I do love a good ripped jean. Oh, the acid wash jeans are fun. I hate how short they are though, but like that might just be more of a me thing. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh, wait, no, we have to go with these jeans. These are from the new pack. Oh, and I love the writing on them. Okay, I guess we're making him punk a little bit. That wasn't my intention, but I think he fits the vibe really well. So he's like punk musician vibes. And I feel like we have to go with like the checkered shoe. We have to, that's like a, a classic look. All right, now for formal, that's, well, this might get a little interesting. We could go with a styled look. He was wearing green sequins in the beginning and that that fits the vibe but i think he needs to have like socks i think he needs socks that match his suit fantastic the glasses are not it i'm gonna put the other glasses on again i love that athletic athletic doesn't really matter but like we'll put him in black some black basketball shorts oh i kind of like that that's from the throwback fit kit all right that's a vibe with like the fanny pack throw on some sneakers maybe he plays basketball sleepwear i feel like he would sleep without a shirt in like some joggers maybe we'll go with the sim to Mitz collection and uh joggers and he would wear socks he wouldn't wear shoes he would wear socks i'll give him green striped socks i think that's fun all right party i think i think he's just gonna wear these glasses like at all times I, however, have not been putting earrings on him. So let's go through and put earrings back on. I think he's just gonna have like the key earring for like everything. Except maybe working out. I feel like working out and sleeping might be in the way. All right, now for party. So there's this one shirt that's like, net and i kind of love this i kind of love this shirt and like i'm imagining party is like you know a house party that someone's throws and like the band from the high school like the the, the band the misfit kid band from the high school is the, like the people who are playing like this is what he would wear to that while he's being like the lead guitar of the band we also have that but i don't think that's it i think this is it though i think this is it and then we need to get some probably like maybe some skinny jeans are skinny jeans too much should we not do skinny should we do the ones he was already wearing from the kit i don't like how there's like a little bit of skin that just bugs me but that's probably my a me problem wait why do i kind of like the colored ones Ooh, the red ones are fun and of course we gotta go with the checkered shoes again swimwear just a bathing suit which one like comes in black maybe we'll put these ones back on i kind of like that pattern and then we'll do no shirt for that. And then for hot weather, we could put him like a t-shirt. I don't like any of these kit items, but I kind of just want him in like a t-shirt. We could put him like a fringe vest. That's from Horse Rain. Or like a vest and a t-shirt. That'd be too much. I 
think that's too much. Maybe the open Hawaiian shirt, which is like having a black swatch. Oh, well, I kind of like those with the ties on the bottom from Eco. I don't think I've ever used those before. And then we'll grab some sneakers because he would still be wearing sneakers. All right, I kind of love that. Let's get our his glasses. So for cold weather, I think a kit is the way to go again because kits have such good clothes. That's a vibe. I think that might be too much, but it's a good time. We could go leather. That's a nice sweater. We also have the horse ranch, which has like some fun, like kind of wintry clothes. Maybe we'll put them in the denim. Oh, I think the denim is good for winter. And we got to go for jeans again. Maybe we'll do like a different pair of ripped jeans. I like that. And then I feel like he needs boots for the winter. There we go. We'll use the machino boots. All right, here's Forrest, a little punk guy. I'm kind of into it. I kind of like it. All right, now Forrest, how are your needs? You probably should do your homework so that you're ready for tomorrow. Or is he going to be a little bit of a slacker with his homework and maybe just play his guitar instead or his dad's guitar? We should all, this will get him a new violin. Connie, you need to go to bed. Oh my gosh. Jeb, you can go to bed too. Actually, no, go mentor Forrest. Is that a vampire? Oh, it's a ghost. It's a ghost, Gacy. That was scary. All right, Jeb, go mentor Forrest. Connie, are you stuck? I think Connie was stuck. Yeah, she was just stuck. Whose homework is that? It's Fallon's. Also, why do you have so much old food in your pockets? Have you done your homework? You have not. So what do you need to do for work for school tomorrow? You need to finish your homework and do some cheer. But she's almost done with both of them, so it wouldn't, it's not going to take too long. Why are you sitting in your mom's bed for that? That's a choice. Look at him. Forrest is so so cool. Why can't I be as cool as Forrest? Like, look at him. We need to get into like a cool music venue. I'm like, I'm like really excited to, to play with Forrest now. All right, Fallon's done with her homework. Good job, Fallon. Go do some cheer and then take care of your needs and then do some extra credit because you are an overachiever. Whereas Forrest isn't. Forrest is a creative. So I'm gen I think I'm going to have him not be much of a, a school person. Maybe he doesn't go to class. Maybe he doesn't do his homework, but he's not going to be like his mom and drop out because like he has no reason to drop out he'll go to school but he's not gonna do well he's gonna focus on his music career level four guitar look at him go all right I think he needs to go to bed. Maybe eat some food. Yeah, you can like guitar. Jeb, why don't you go to bed as well? I think I'm also gonna put the guitar in Forrest's inventory and he's gonna like take it to school. I also need to get an adult violin. We should also redo his room a little bit at some point. I don't think that's right now, but I think we should redo his room in, a, in at some point. I'm gonna put the, the big violin in his room. Connie, are you awake? Connie, go back to bed and then get some food. Oh, he's eating his birthday cake. That's kind of cute. Also for his aspiration, he needs to listen to some music for his aspiration. I don't know if we have a music thing. He needs to go sleep in his bed though. Jeb, go back to sleep. Stop waking up. Is the cat? Oh, the cat's probably waking them up. All right, Connie. Fallon, finish eating. Okay, F Fallon is finished eating. She's off to do her extra credit and then she can go back to bed. Why are you doing it in Forest room? You have a desk. Oh, her computer's in front of her desk. That's why she can't do it at her desk. Oh, it's Harvest Fest. Do you not go to school? It says class in two hours. It says class in two hours. I want them to go to school. I want them to go to school. All right, Fallon did her extra credit. Good job, Fallon. Go to bed. Well, for like an hour. Oh, they don't go to school today. Lame. Wait, no, you okay. I can hit go to school and they can probably go to school. Forrest as well. Forrest doesn't go to school today because he did, he just aged up. Okay, well, she's off to school by herself, which isn't ideal, but I didn't have an option to go with her, but I still wanted her to go to school because she's the kind of kid who would go to school on a holiday. She did not finish her cheer though. Who's calling you? Father Winter? Sure, go for it. Have a crush on Angela Pleasant. I don't care. You need to go tend to your garden and super sell everything, Connie. Something, this needs evolved. Jeb, I'm gonna have you make a grand breakfast for your family. And Forrest, you're tense from the fire from last. So appease the gnome. Give the gnome a pie. We're gonna see how this goes. <gasps> oh, it worked. Fantastic. Can we appease this gnome? Let's give it coffee. <gasps> it worked. And this is the same gnome. So I'm gonna give this gnome coffee too. We've appeased all the gnomes. Jeb, did you finish the grand meal? Jeb, why did you make a grand meal? I don't know why I didn't make a grand meal. I'm gonna sell the gnomes. All right, you're taking care of your garden. And then you need to go to the bathroom. I kind of want Forrest to go into his treehouse and play the guitar. Look at him. Look at him. Um, what happened? Oh, the mail's been delivered. Bonnie, why don't you get the mail? Who are you? Oh, Carlton's here. Oh, but Fallon isn't. Carl, are you gonna go play on her computer? Why are you mad at his rug? I kind of want him to stay. So what if I lock the door for everyone but individuals so that he can't leave my house? Is he taking a bath in my house? Why am I not mad at that? All right, we need to get him some sort of way to play music because he needs to listen to music. So I'm gonna grab a little speaker. Oh, I wish I could put this on the tree house. Well, I guess I'll put it down here and he'll listen to maybe some metal. I think he's gonna listen to some metal. I think it's always funny when people listen to metal. All right, people have been eating their breakfast. Connie, you're pretty good. You're good for like work and everything. Oh, you could go to work. I'm gonna send her to work for a few hours. Why not? Jeb, you 
need to go work out. So, oh, you need to vacuum, throw that away and then work out. Are you gonna go use my treadmill? Oh, you're taking a book. Okay, yeah, you can read a book. Yes, you gotta continue to listen to this. Air guitar to metal. All right, Fallon is gonna be home really soon and then she's to go to cheerleading. So I'm gonna have her, I, I think, I don't know if she'll go to cheerleading today, but she needs to come finish her routine just in case she does go to cheerleading. Unidentified invader. During Connie's daily tending routine, they came across a peculiar looking plant hidden among the rest. Connie is excited at the discovery of a new species, but she knows it could be deadly to the ecosystem. Does Connie break the possibly ecological disaster and let the plant grow or does she play it safe and quarantine the specimen to protect the other plants? I wanna let it go, let it grow. Connie didn't think the new plant could do any harm, but was terribly mistaken. The plant took over the part of the lab, killing all the other plants that it came in contact with, even where it started shooting seeds everywhere. Take weeks for Connie and her coworkers to clear this mess. Oops, it's fine. All right, she didn't finish her chair. It's okay. It's not the end of the world. All right, Forrest, are you still listening to your metal? Listen deeply to some metal music. All right, Connie's home. She did come home. I'm gonna change it to alternative. All right, Connie is angry. Oh, my mushrooms can evolve. Not all of them, but three of them. All right, Jeb, have you, did you run on the treadmill? Yeah, you did, but go do it again. All right, when are you coming home from cheer? She's there until 5.30, so she'll be home just in a second. And Carlton, I think is still here. Yeah, Carlton is uh, over here, just eating some cake. All right, Carl, she's back. Let's go flirt with Carlton. Let's go blow a kiss at him and maybe embrace. We could have a first kiss, but I think I want to save first kiss for prom and we can have our first kiss at prom. Oh, she is so stinky. Go take a shower. What if they like watched a movie together? They could have a pillow fight. That's kind of cute. Oh, she is so stinky. No, go take a shower. All right, she's taking a shower. And then what if we have a pillow fight? That's kind of cute. I also, do you have a better outfit than this? I want to put him in his party outfit. It's just better. His other outfit is not good. We need to give him a makeover. If this is like a long-term thing, we need to give him a makeover. Okay, they're gonna have a pillow fight. This is very exciting. Is is it not working? Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, look at them having a pillow fight. Look at them, they're so cute. Look at the little young love. I love them. I honestly, I kind of really like Carlton. I feel like they're a good match for each other. Why are you saying howdy, howdy? What if you like do a bold pickup line and maybe sit and chat and you, maybe you can watch a movie together. Maybe we watch Do Lost Dog's Journey Home with Carlton. They can't, it's okay. You need to go to the bathroom and get some food. I'm gonna unlock the door. So if Carlton wants to leave, he can. Forrest is asleep. He needs to take care of his needs. Did he finish aspiration? Oh, he did finish aspiration. Okay. Do you need to play an instrument for one hour while inspired? Which we can definitely do. Where did your guitar go? Forrest, where's your guitar? Oh, it's up here. All right, you need to do your homework. And then tomorrow at school, is it tomorrow any special day at school? Cheerleading team sports day is tomorrow and exams. So you need to do some exam studying after your homework. Whereas Forrest isn't going to. He might not even do his homework. Oh, he's not inspired anymore. Vlad, why are you here? How much longer does she have to age up? Oh, she's gonna be a young adult really soon. She has four days till age up. So that's kind of exciting. So she'll probably age up in the next episode. Look at them all hanging out as a family. He looks so much like his dad. I love it. Ooh, dynamic jokesters. Oh, I think I think that's a really good one to have. I think a jokesters dynamic between them is a really good one. I think the cat's mad at the radio. Let's turn that off. All right, you're still doing your homework. I'm not even on to studying yet. Harvest is awful. That's okay. Oh, I think Forrest on the treadmill. He just got a uh, fitness level two. Oh yeah, he's on the treadmill. All right, Connie, do you want to help her with her homework? Oh, I don't think she can. I don't think she can help her study. I'm going to have Connie plant some new plants. She just got, she got some seeds from the gnomes. So we're going to put them in here and plant a few more things. We'll plant these. Oh, she can't reach them. What's up with the cat? Why does the cat keep yelling? Lecture about waking up the cat and then maybe pet the cat. Or you can't lecture about waking up. And then Jeb, you need to do some vacuuming. Oh, they're all sad from having a bad holiday. That's not my problem. All right, Forrest is awake. What are you doing? Sleep in enclosure? Don't do that. Go take care of your needs at least. Get leftovers, take a shower, and then go back and sleep in your bed. All right, Fallon's done with her homework. She does not have cheerleading, so she does not need to work on her cheerleading. She's gonna go right to bed because it is 6 a.m. and she has not slept. What's wrong with you? Jeb ate meat. Jeb, why did you eat meat? Stop eating meat. Eat something else. Jeb, go clean up. Stop eating meat. All right, everyone needs to wake up. You both have school. Follow students. We're gonna go with both of them. I'm excited about this. All right, it's Forrest's first day of school and Connie's probably last day of school. So for good stuff, she needs to go run on the treadmill. So I guess we'll have her go do that real fast. Go do the no sweat challenge. And here's Carlton. Why don't we go say hello? We can go give him a little hug. Forrest is just gonna like pick a spot and I think he's just gonna like play his guitar. He's just gonna play some tunes. I might have him claim a locker. Cause just because you're slightly little delinquent doesn't mean you can't have a locker. Who are you? Yusuke Shibata. All right, let's decorate our locker. Let's Let's decorate our locker. Let's do grunge. Oh, our locker neighbor is also 
grunge. Whose locker is this? Should we leave a note asking to prom? <gasps> we could leave it up to anyone and ask them to prom. I don't know if he wants to go to prom. I think he might go to prom and just like be all moody in the corner. All right, Fallon, stop on the treadmill. Oh, she was supposed to work on an exercise machine, not the treadmill. Go to class, please. You're gonna be late. Ooh, a difficult problem. Multiple questions have come up on the exam about the classes assigned to reading. The book centered around a narrative of sims that could mysteriously live forever and never age. There are specific questions at the plot, characters, and ending. In essay format, write about the key themes and provide examples from the book that support those themes. Rely on writing skill or wing it. He's gonna be a wing it kid. He's a wing it kid. Horace trusted in fate to deliver him an answer to this tough exam question, but fate failed him. Start staring at his finished answer. Forrest knows that he got no chance of being right. Ooh, that's not good. It's okay. Can you go back to taking your exam? But where are you going? You need to at least take your exam. Oh, she was so late to her exam. As you reach the last question on the final exam, the art question emerges. Instead of asking you to name notable works of art, this question asks a more practical art question. It asks about the different painting techniques and asks you to draw a small sketch to demonstrate your expertise. Rely on painting skill. Forrest did not have nearly the grasp of the subject he thought he did and gave a pretty shaky answer. Small skill-based exam boost. A difficult problem. Copperdale is surrounded by a lake named after a rich and vibrant gemstone. This question asks you to name rock formations relating to various locations and to list the mineral properties of such stone formations. Rely on logic skill. She has a good logic skill. All right, she got an exam boost from that. Okay, I don't think she did well on that one, but we need to be friendly with the student and we're gonna be friendly with Carlton. Let's say you were my favorite. Oh, that's cute. Stop talking to your brother. Go get some lunch. Go order some sliders. Can you do graffiti? Can there's can Sims do graffiti? Like in the school? I don't think they can. But it'd be kind of fun if they could, like in the bathroom stalls. I'm kind of sad that they can't. Forrest, what are you getting up to? Who are you talking to? Felicity Jang. Okay, you need to be friendly with a student. Go say hello to this guy. Go friendly introduction. Can you please go talk to Carlton? Discuss latest book. Can you compliment him? All right, there we go. She has to go back to her exam. Oh, Forrest could prank the whiteboard. I think I'll have him do that. What if he doesn't instead of take his, his exam? Oh, he's got to take his exam. All right, second exam is done. Fallon did pretty well in her exams. Forrest aced his exams? Forrest is an A student? And promise tomorrow. Forrest is an A student? Forrest, you're supposed to be a slacker. You didn't even do your homework. We'll go home. Actually, Forrest, I'm gonna have you prank the whiteboard. Can you do a different one? Can you go prank this whiteboard? Look at him go pranking that white whiteboard. He's like I got the mischief skill. Oh, okay. Our teacher is suspicious of us. We got a little bit caught, but like, I kind of want to keep that. Well, I don't know what his name is, but he thinks we're suspicious too. All right, let's go home, everyone. It is almost time for prom. So prom is tomorrow morning. Not tomorrow morning, tomorrow night. All right, so you need to go to bed. Forrest just needs to go to sleep. Fallon is just vibing. Go take care of your needs. Connie is fine, but she's very angry. I'm gonna have her do some yoga. Go practice yoga. Jeb, Go treadmill. Oh my gosh, she is so angry. Who's calling you? Yeah, we'll donate one simoleon. I think that's fine. We have the money. All right, you need to also tend to your garden and super sell everything. Oh, Jeff got the energetic lifestyle. Okay. All right, so I know I said we're gonna do prom today. However, I actually just, I have to go. I have to stop filming for the day. So thank you so much for watching. We will get to prom next week. We'll have a whole day of prom. We'll do prom get togethers. We'll do prom. We'll do the whole thing. So be sure to come back for prom. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of things you think the Whitley family should get up to in the future. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!